Hi guys, that's up. I'm back with the Daryl Dixon Show. This is episode two, and this episode is called, let's see if I can say it right, Alwit, which means lark in English. And uh, first impression of episode one was, um, I'm just happy to honestly see Daryl again. And you know, the most intriguing thing was just how different it is compared to the US. I haven't really thought about, you know, people's access to weapons in other parts of the world. It's just so easy in the US. Like it's too easy, honestly, for people to get their hands on weapons. But yeah, in France, they have like these deposits of old weapons, you know, that they had to learn to use. And I, they honestly look way cooler than our modern weapons, um, but they should technically also be harder to use, more inaccurate and slow reloads, but it doesn't seem to be a problem really, even for Daryl. Um, <laughs> I'm intrigued by the nuns. Unfortunately, they got slaughtered. I was ready for some kick-ass warrior nun action, uh, but we got at least two of them left and we're gonna take this kid who is the next messiah across France. And I definitely wanna see more zombies because the, the main nun, she hinted at, oh, that's one kind of zombie we have are those fire zombies like that burn you. What else you got in this country? What are you guys doing with your zombies? Because there's some kind of experimentation going on. That's probably why we got these kinds of zombies. They're stealing people, which I don't really understand why we're still trafficking humans when it's an apocalypse, post-apocalypse is just, Sure, let's see where that goes. And I'm just excited to keep exploring the show with you guys. So let's get going, folks. Priest in a closet and a creepy kid. No thanks. You can't leave, not without us. I like how he's very open about it, how crazy this whole thing is. Like, he's going that direction anyway, and why not, you know? <laughs> All right, then. I'll take you where you need to go. He, he, she's the first decent person he's met so far, so I'm not gonna dump her. Oh, yes! Yes, let's see some... Let's see, let's see the city get messed up by the apocalypse. I want to see some uh, background for sure. I gotta need to turn down the volume, this smidge. She's definitely also got a dark past, which I think Daryl can sense. He's really good at meeting people. And, you know, they've come a long way, both of them, from where they started. Focusing a lot on his card, oh, okay, and the drugs. So she did, uh, they did everything. When you're having a hard time feeling, you really try everything to feel something. Did she take all their credit cards? Cause I was, yeah, she's stealing. Okay, that's what I thought. She focused too long on that card. Good actress. When you can show a lot with just like a look of what you're feeling and thinking, you're doing good. Zombie. 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 It must have spread just so fast. Yeah, if I see people start biting other people, I'll be like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Weapons. <laughs> Shelter. I oh, do not take the subway. Oh, God. Oh. I like how they did that. Wow. Favorite part so far of this show. Jesus, that's terrifying. Man, early apocalypse is like when you have no idea what's going on and they're faster because they're like not as degraded as now. She's not screaming or going crazy panicky like everyone else and that's something I feel like Daryl probably is like that I mean he's definitely is like that it doesn't really help the situation panicking you have to figure out nice who are you you know what's going on man don't play no games 
She's also probably on some drugs that are calming her down a bit. Um, <laughs> but I do think she seems like, personality-wise, pretty similar to Daryl. Wow, this intro is just so mesmerizing. I love it. I love it. Catacombs. Nice. And I'm just going to see something new every time I see that. Oh my god, don't tell me she's turned. Lily, I'm with you! Lily! Okay, she's fine. Money ain't gonna help. It's literal just paper now. We're not together, we're not together right now. Is Lily her sister? Papa is not coming yesterday and there's a mom who cries on the telephone. Oh, my God, Mom. Okay, she's going to take care of you. Gosh. Stop focusing on the innocence that's gonna be killed. Like, um, Rick with that little girl in the very first episode that was dragging a teddy bear. When you see something like that, that's when you know humanity's forever changed. Some water? Good reminder, okay. everybody, drink water. <laughs> okay. You know, if this mule won't go, there's some bad up ahead. Are you getting oh. shut up? Asterix is very stubborn. Asterix? Nice. Don't tell me you're feeding it to the zombies. No. No, no. Laurent loves him. No! Oh. Oh. Poor mule. But yeah. Daryl's literally done everything in the book, so like one mule doesn't really mean much to him. Well, apples are his favorite. It's yeah. a little slower and harder to get happen. there, but at least it's safer. Get down! Yeah. Oh, arrow. Let's take whatever that is, right, Daryl? A bow. Yeah, you can use that. So much quieter than these weapons they got. I don't think even think you can put silencers on these old guns, so that makes it even harder. Oh no, that is brain damage, man. It's a bunch of kids. Wow, he just got knocked in the, knocked in the noggin. Oh, 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 well, they seem to be doing well for themselves, these kids. C'était une bonne sœur. Donc vous feriez me réciter la prière pour les parents de Saint Joseph? Gloria Saint Joseph, époux de Marie, accordez-nous votre protection paternelle. Well, that's perfectly in sync. The American. C'est une bonne soeur aussi. Père Daryl, il parle pas français. Depuis tout ce temps, c'est américain. Very fair. Very fair. Older ones were dropped off at school. Some of her friends go home at the end of the day, but the rest of us, our friends never came. Dang, I like where the story is going. They may do what they could for this time. You have to know all this by yourselves. This, um, this is Madame Dubois. She helped them throughout these years to keep up their teachings. She's our parents and our nurse. Great woman to take care of so many kids and really getting them through this. Look, look at how sustainable that is. She must have known a bit of everything keep this going and like learn the rest you know and I guess it was far enough from like the big cities that it's not too many zombies that roam through I wonder if they ever had to deal with like any clusters of zombies start to herd up at least in the US <laughs> Don't ask him to say a prayer in, like, English. Father Daryl, do you lead us in a prayer of thanks? Does he know something? Like, like, I don't know. Saying grace? Yes. Yeah. He must know something. Um, Lord? 
sure you have your reasons for turning the whole world upside down. Maybe we deserve it for being so mean to each other. He really nailed this voice. It's so worth seeing in interviews how he does not sound like this when speaking. Tonight is good. And if this isn't good enough for you, I don't know what is. I'm in. <clears throat> she might be getting a little crush, you know? <laughs> our manners are a mirror that shows our portrait. Couldn't agree more. Manners Daryl doesn't know about because he used to hunt and stuff and eat like that before the apocalypse. <laughs> okay, well, you know. That's good soup. <laughs> he is funny. Like, kids love him naturally, I think. <laughs> Story time? Oh. I was like, what is it? They're literally powering it with bikes like that? That's so smart. Good workout, too. No way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he looked like a kid. I love that. Oh, I love that! <laughs> Is that Robin Williams? I mean, I would be so happy if I got to see him again on my screen. After the apocalypse. That, that's him. I can see him from a mile away. What's he thinking? He got some memory. I mean, it's hard for adults. They knew exactly what the world was before. And even though he wasn't the best for Daryl, it still beats zombies everywhere. Um, plus, he has had a family even after the apocalypse. Big enough, it's fine. That he needs to get back to. Right. To know what the world was like before. You can't miss what you never had. Yeah, I think it's harder for the adults. Do you still watch that TV show? Me and my brother used to watch it. Remember we Young? We love that show. Used to make everything just a little bit better, you know? I understand. Wanting to escape. Yeah, she understands that. She's not doing well. She's infected. Uh. You need a doctor, Lily. We can take you. You just have to decide if you're sick or not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sick on the She's pregnant? Take it more. Wait. There she needs to be. Is that Laurent's mama? We can't take her with us in that condition. I'm not leaving her behind. We can drop her off somewhere on the way. A clinic. <laughs> I would never in a million gazillion years leave my sister. Just think. When she's pregnant, especially you. Take care of you. What kind of idiot are you, man? I fucking always take care of you. No, you're literally <laughs> controlling her. You are disgusting. Trust me. Nope. 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 Find nope. us somewhere safe. There's nowhere safe. It's apocalypse. It's all the over. Back in park. Yeah, girl, you can leave his ass. Take that pistol, though. You make a few coins. <sighs> Clay didn't fall for that bullshit. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> leave my sister? Nah, I leave you. <laughs> it's just like, do you know how close sisters can be? Because I would literally die for my sisters. I would not leave them behind. <laughs> Hell, I would have chosen my cat over you any day, even if there was an apocalypse. He was a hero who gave his life for free France. <laughs> he even won a medal. Like the Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids. It's not. <laughs> oh god, no. I don't think so. So many things can go wrong in childbirth. And pregnancy, even before, like, every th the whole world went to shit. So, uh, scary. Really? 
silly guys. So when do you start running? Oh, she's dead. She gets bit. What are you, what are you doing, Laurent? Doggies? <gasps> the mule. Man, honestly, I would totally hold up in a castle. Empty seats at the table. Especially if it has a moat and like stuff like that. You know, it's already been up for like hundreds of years, and it has its own defenses. Solid choice. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dude, her arm, she got bit. She got bit, didn't she? I saw something with her arm. Do they already know? Oh god. That sucks. Seven months? Jeez, she is closer than I thought. The title of the episode. Oh, oh my god. It's a rough backstory, man. Yeah, will this work? Yeah, we should see if we can find a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was literally just thinking he's gonna put this little girl in a in danger. Come on! Dude, I needed to see that. How the hell did he climb that? It looks pretty unstable. <laughs> My name is Harrison. Harrison, got it. No, Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> In English, it's hedgehog. Hedgehog. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, sick. Let's go. Drop it. Drop it. It's just one guy. I said move. What's he pointing at? You're American. Wait, are you two? Me too. Hey, two and two. Hey. Back home. Two paste, man. I got 40 boxes of the stuff. Real tasty on those little Breton biscottis. Oh la la. You stole okay, he's a little bit crazy. Need it. Hey! Just oh, one guy in a castle, man. You really did well for yourself. Never laid a hand on that kid. Tries anything, you shoot him. He's gonna go and get it. Yeah. Oh, I just fixed the wagon. Try and shoot me, yeah? I say you ain't going nowhere, boy. That ain't gonna budge. Why did you leave a gun there? Yeah. They're all stronger than you. Daryl. I'm, I'm an American. <laughs> hey, it's like use that shit. <laughs> what is that thing called again? I forget. Dinner is served! Oh, yeah. Damn. Gotta be loud. Whoa. Yeah, that was an aggressive zombie. Go! Yeah, I was like, how are these kids gonna lift him in a horse? Oh shoot. That's rough kid. Miss Daryl. You have a crossbow too? Oh my god, thank Jesus. <laughs> oh gosh. 
It was too late. The meds were never gonna help her. I lied to you to get a horse. I'm sorry. <sighs> I mean, I'm, it was a good time to tell her because also she was blaming herself, but yeah, it was really not anything she could have done. It's Honestly, I would take over that castle. I'm still, just so you guys know, there's a bunch of food there still too. I don't want to go. If he is her nephew, he was born from someone who was infected. Does that give him like special blood? Is it like immune or something? I'm just thinking of Last of Us. That's the plot, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I mean that would be pretty cool. But like we gotta make it make it our own version here in this show. Give him some other cool powers. <laughs> I just I had a, I was like the tape recorder. My name's Daryl Last episode. Dixon. Well, that film was trouble. He knows exactly where y'all are. Make it back. She gone. She made up that. Oh god. Oh. Lie about him. His dad, because he wasn't really worth much in reality. <laughs> Do the zombies like ignore him? Oh, I just want to know what's up. <laughs> That's really, really rough. Made her a promise. I want to be like other kids. Yeah, I know you do. I want him to tell her him about Judith and how badass she is. <laughs> They're about the same age, right? She might be a little older. Laurent, Saint Laurent. Very interesting because, like how she acts around him it's not like you know how i act around my nephews or whatever like she also raised him so it's but i don't get a maternal sense from her so yeah i definitely think she's still affected by the fact that her sister died and she has also been so emotionless the entire episode she doesn't have a lot of feelings and um but she just doesn't really express it she keeps it very internalized um, a lot of the way like Daryl does, but Daryl, unlike her, he, he got really close with a lot of people like Judith, like he definitely is one of her dads, you know, and she hasn't really let herself go there. And maybe we'll see if Daryl helps with that. I do think he needs that kind of love any kid does. Um, but yeah, definitely not getting that maternal side of her. You know, this kid was entrusted to you by your sister and you raised him with a bunch of other nuns and I just want to have that feeling between them. Like, I want to see how far she would go to save him. I just, I we just haven't gotten to know her well enough yet. And also to see them develop that relationship. I do think this journey will help along with that. Uh, I really like this episode. I really love seeing how France was before and like during the start of this zombie apocalypse. Very interesting. I love that we get to see that. And since I, we didn't really get much of that in Walking Dead, I know I saw some of that in Fear the Walking Dead. I didn't continue with that show. I just didn't connect with a lot of the characters. But yeah, with The Walking Dead, I loved seeing the snippets when it broke out and also seeing like different communities that were still early on, uh, the CDC and like those things were super interesting in the start of Walking Dead, like really drew me in. Um, so seeing that was really awesome and uh, getting to know her in that way as well, like through her eyes, you remember like these ad adult people know what the world was like. And even for her and Daryl, it was garbage. Seeing these kids, which I also love this community, just a bunch of kids um, being awesome and growing food and making food, you know, uh, helping each other learn. Really great little community there. Um, but they also don't know how life was like before. And I love that they showed a, a clip of something that really meant a lot to Daryl of the life before. How he had to escape the world even before the apocalypse. And I just like how they have a lot in common, Isabel and um, Daryl, and can't wait to see more 
more of that. Uh, hope you guys like my reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.